Hi, this is Julia at Love's Beginning with a message called Words of Celebration. Pay attention to any sense of threat that arises during the day. Can you catch it before it becomes anything specific, meaningful, or believable? That sense of threat is the indicator that you are attached to the idea that all of the seeming threats within this illusion are real. Question the reality of all the seeming threats within the illusion. Ask to be shown what is prior to all sense of threat. The sense of threat is the foundation of the perception of separate selves. Look upon this for a moment. Look at the belief that the perceived as separate selves are real. Look upon the belief that the perceived as separate selves can be harmed by aspects of the illusion that are also real. Allow your belief that perceived as separate selves are real to sit in the light. Gaze upon your belief that perceived as separate selves can do harm. Look upon your belief that harm within the illusion is real. Acknowledge that you are the maker of the illusion. See your belief that you are one of those perceived as separate selves. Look at how you see a separate self. You call it you, and you give it the ability to harm and be harmed. All of these beliefs combine into one sense of threat that you carry with you for safety. You carry with you this bundle of beliefs, this sense of threat, in order to maintain all of your many and various defenses, all of the things that you think keep you safe. Now take this bundle and notice that your safety is prior to this bundle. Notice that in your oneness with all, there has never been any need for defense. It is safe to place this bundle of beliefs into harmony's hands. It is safe to let go. When you let go of this bundle of beliefs that is your sense of threat, you give permission to what is real to shine through everyone and everything that you used to experience as separate. Today is about giving permission. Today you give permission to allow the light to shine through everyone and everything with no exceptions. There is no reason to attempt to hold it back. During your day today you are going to run into some of these reasons to hold the light back, to keep it from your sight, these reasons that you have to keep your light under a bushel. Today is about agreeing to let those reasons go. Today is about seeing how unnecessary it is to attempt to hold back or disguise light streaming from everyone and everything. Today you will speak words, and you will become aware of thoughts in the mind, unspoken but still in your awareness. Think of words as either magic or miraculous. If you feel any disquiet as you speak or think, you are casting a spell upon a mirror. The spell you cast upon a mirror, you cast upon yourself. This is a deep habit, to find an aspect that seems outer, and to call this person or this thing wrong or defective in some way. Allow the love to hold you and to tell you this. You are not wrong, nor have you ever been defective. Your attempts to find wrongness or defect in any aspect of a world can stop now because you are only casting spells upon yourself. You have never cast a spell upon yourself because you are bad in any way. You could only cast a spell upon yourself in innocent confusion. Love is here to guide you out of innocent confusion. Also, Let's take a moment to remember something important. The whole experience of time and space has unfolded within and as an illusion, which means it has never been real. It means that nothing out of alignment with love has ever happened. It seems to have happened, yes. But in actuality, nothing has happened except an imagined drama. A fantasy. Light is here to guide you out of your fantasy of fear 
but it is very important for you to own the fantasy in order to let it go. Love and light are here to supply all of your thoughts. Love and light are here to supply all of the words you seem to use to communicate within this illusion. You can relax into what is provided for all so easily. As you have faith that love and light supply your thoughts and words, have faith that the same source of abundance is available right now to all. Only give yourself that which you would also allow your divine sibling to have. Only give to your reflections all that you seem to see, that which you would allow yourself to have. When you allow love and light to provide all thought and all words used for communication, you stop casting spells. Instead, you invite the reflection. You invite the reflection of your true self, the love that you and all are, the joy that you and all have always been, to shine forth from everyone and everything without exception. Be bold. Make no exceptions. The spells you have been casting to make illusions, they all had one purpose. They were supposed to cover up the purity that you and all are. When you can see that all of your trying was used for obscuring purity and innocence that can only be shared equally among all beings, you simply stop what doesn't make sense. When you stop what doesn't make sense, what has always been here is invited to make itself known to you. Your words can make illusions, or they can celebrate what is. Allow the words that come from you to celebrate. Celebrate your homecoming. Celebrate the beauty of what everyone has always been. Celebrate the peace that never left you for a moment, even if you did your best to make it disappear. The dream of time has never affected the peace that you and all are in any way, and it never can. Celebrate that which is truly stable and rejoice that this true stability is all of you beneath the stage makeup and costumes. The good news for one of us is the good news for all of us. Focus upon the good news for all. What you are is stable now. Through your intention to focus upon what is true, you can see the divinity in everything. Through your intention to focus upon what is real, you can trust in the safety that holds you and all at all times with no exceptions. Whenever you feel disturbed, ask Spirit for help. Show me where to focus. Spirit will show you how to celebrate what's real. The celebration is present and available for you and all in every moment. You only have to choose it. We celebrate where we are, and as we celebrate, we rejoice that you have always been here. Thanks for listening.